Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the mountain passes where in the last episode, Ignatius the Charged and Anya the City Feller, Anya Griffin Rider, struck down three of Leonis's heroes and crushed one of his armies, although taking severe losses in terms of troops and putting Ignatius into critical condition where Figoberto will have to use his magic to bring him back. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Age of Wonders 3, a roleplay campaign where you, the viewer, gets to make the decisions. And this actually will be a council episode, so there will be some decisions for you to make at the end of this. We'll have to see how things play out and what those decisions should be. The first thing that we should note is that the visions of Stoica are fickle. In one of the futures that Frigoberto was able to see during his visions, Camille, the halfling rogue, declared war on Leonis, adding her armies to those of Duimus and Frigoberto's. However, it appears that in this timeline, Camille has instead decided to go to war against Rish Kian, which is no good for us. It would be better if she declared war on Leonis, and then later, once Leonis was done, she declared war on Rish Kian so that we could take her from behind. But that is not to be. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get Anya up here, combine this force, pick up all of Ignatius' stuff, especially his chicken. Can't leave that behind. Oh my gosh, and we got all the stuff from the other heroes too. So brown leather scaled tunic. Epic leg gear, claws of the prowler, plus one defense, improved wall climbing and pounce. Okay. Ignominous Buckler of the Outcast. That's a terrible name, actually. What does it do? Makes you vulnerable to holy, but gives you defense. We might not want to keep that. A Snatch Purse of Cobalt Design. Gives you a net throwing ability. Not that useful. Heavy Crossbow. Not that useful. Another Heavy Crossbow. A Ceremonial Elf Guard Spear. Plus one melee strength, and the unit's melee attacks deal one damage. Okay, we'll give her that. Too bad it doesn't change the weapon of her. Like, if you change the mount, it shows it up. But if you change the weapon, it doesn't do anything. Friendly Beggar's Shoes. All unit in the hero's army gain volunteer. Units of volunteer require 50% less upkeep. I don't know if that's necessarily better right now than... Plus one defense, improved wall climbing, and pounce, which allows the unit to teleport to a hex adjacent to the target and strike it, entering guard mode afterwards. And we can give her the Amulet of Lost Love, which she apparently picked up off of one of the uh, heroes of Leonis, who apparently had lost their love. Alright, that's all for now. We have to get these out to other people later, but Anya's pretty buffed up as a result. She's level 6. Actually, we can level her up. Let's see what we got here. She definitely needs more hit points. 55 is too little for a, a hero by themselves. Rapid reload? No. Reinforced units gain additional plus 4 defense against range attacks. Wall climbing? But I would never... She has a flying mount, so wall climbing is not important. Overload would be a great spell, but we didn't have the points for that. She'll be getting a level soon anyway. Ironclad Baron 2 is good. One defense and deals one damage. Unlocks physical protection. We might have actually wanted to go with that. Lightning Rod Banner. Should I give her five more hit points or a bit more? Like I said, is all I can give her. Or Reinforced. I need more hit points. All right, Stoicana. The city has been founded. Excellent. We know how we do. We go Builder's Hall first, Storehouse, and then Wooden Wall. Got our Mariners at Lashanti. Peralta Sane has produced a mercenary camp. So actually, they're pretty much good to go. I mean, we could build a market to get more money, or we could just go straight to troop production and get out our monster hunters. And they're irregular. So... Where are the bonuses from the town? Mercenary, here we go. The unit has plus one melee damage, an additional plus one range damage, and one defense. And scout training, it gives them one vision range. I think that's what our, what our buildings give us, right? Plus 
Plus one, yeah, this gives us the defense and the damage. Wasn't there another building too, though? That we could... Would it give us a bone? Oh, the Flow Rock Citadel, right. That's for machines, which we don't really need just yet. All right. This is going to be a bastion for monster hunters for right now. Because they only take one turn to recruit. They're relatively cheap, and they have all these bonuses and extra defense. Really, it produced a trading center. So, okay, actually, this is a great opportunity for the council right now. Because we have to decide if we're going to be for progress or tradition. If we're going to be for good or for evil. If we're going to go for the airship or if we're going to go for the hag. So I'm going to let the council make that decision. But right now, though, we probably need troops more than anything. We could build more cavalry. The Steel Legion will take two turns to recruit? Wow. It's almost silly to do that instead of cavalry. Three turns and then we can produce a knight. And it also makes our tier one and two units better. But we are desperate for troops. We can recruit three cavalry in the time it'll take to build this. Are three cavalry worse than one knight? It'll probably take two turns or more to get a knight as well. We can't afford to do that. Plus, Ignatius is going to need an army when he gets back. So, Geldor got another settler. And the winner of that was underground, so... Geldor can produce Swordsmasters and Shock Cavalry. And Swordsmasters actually... I mean, these were experienced Swordsmasters, but they were able to f handle the attacks of Leonis pretty well. Let's uh, get a couple of those for right now. Rauta Sane has grown into a town, which is great. I declared war on Leonis. We will make your death slow and painful. Yeah, good luck. And Camille declared war on Rish. This army's fleeing. I don't think we can actually catch it. We cannot. We can, however, attack Tamara Isalanha. I'd rather win her over to our cause, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Either way, we can't get to her. Gaspard can't get to her either. Hmm. At least his presence here will help. Kind of subdue Leonis' troops. The Builder. We need to get some troops into the fort, too. Let's get the Builder up to Stoicana. Alright. You guys are just going to stay here. Lost Mariners are going to stay where they are. Scout's going to get the berries. And then come down here. Lost City, Tree of Life. Okay, cool. Sarandi. And someone in the comments thought her name was Serenity, which is also a lovely name, but it's actually Surandi. S-U-R-A-N-D-I. Alright, let's get you some berries. And let's get you down here. Frigoberto's army is nearly full strength. Alright, Satura. You're going to head off and lead your own army. And we're going to stick together. These two fight well together. Part of our Master Soldiers Trip Fields plan, plan uh, Strongbow, is to come down and attack Leonis from the sea. But I'm a bit nervous about that right now because we're down only one army here, and he still has two cities. So I think 
we're going to do a sort of modified plan, Strongbow, where Frigoberto and, and Preston come here to the west, take this city, and then perhaps attack the capital by sea. While Anya, potentially with the aid of Gaspard, although he's supposed to be going and relieving... Maybe they could take this city, and then Gaspard could go north. I don't know. We're going to have troops soon, so we'll have multiple options available to us. Let's keep an eye on things over here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to upgrade Frigoberto. I'm surprised it let me do that. Alright, it doesn't look like Leonis is doing anything. Oh! Just as I say that, Frederick von Oswick is back. Alright, well... Let's get Anya beefed up a little bit here. We're, we're thinking Iron Baroness, right? Plus one defense and range attacks do one damage. Unlocks physical protection. Spells weapon kit and dampening field. So yeah, we'll do that. Ironclad Baroness. You know what? I think we should be able to take both of these armies. The city doesn't even have a wall yet, I'm pretty sure. More Lost Mariners. Monster Hunters from Peralta Sane. Cavalry in Aurelia. Swordsmaster in Geldorf. And Leticia has its stables, which means now we're going to start pumping out mounted archers. Draft is ready to cast. Okay. Next, we have to cast... Resurrect Hero. To get Ignatius back. Stoicana has no protection, but that's okay. It's just the Builder. Alright, Monster Hunter. Thank you for your service. You can go up and help Satura. And Ikara will come here with Frigoberto. Alright. Frigoberto and Preston will head to the west. Although it's going to take them a while to get through this area. I've heard you could find units to purchase in the inn. We'll try that on the way there and see what happens. Alright, the Settler is going to head down here. We probably should have done that last turn. Go found us a city. Narvek, I'm going to stay where you are. But your cavalry is going to go over here to Satura. Also, well, Geralt is saying needs a guardian, so we'll let the first couple monster hunters kind of hang out here before we start sending him to the front. Alright, Satura, you're just going to stay where you are and build up troops. We'll give you the Swordsmaster. Please. Alright. And our scout. Visiting units ignore native morale penalties. Okay. And there is Branka the Paragon, who's one of Dwemus' heroes. Looks like they cleared out the uh, shrine. Interesting. It was noted by the council that we should secure this Isthmus. So that Dwemus doesn't have a landway into our lands. That's actually a good idea. It'll also prevent us from Leonis, but Leonis has shown that he knows how to use the sea. Alright, so Randy, let's take a look. Alright, so Drew's is currently guarded by two spiders. Not too much. But Gaspard has other plans right now. I was actually hoping that we could convert a hero or two to our cause, but it appears that it's not to be. We simply don't have the skills to do that. We're a warlord, not a theocrat. It appears Leonis is not going to utilize his magic. We'll 
we'll send our cavalry in pairs. One unit of cavalry to each flank, and a unit of mounted archers. And then Gaspard and our regular cavalry will take the middle. Tamara, the great sorceress, opts instead to use her bow. Hmm. Those blessed arrows are pretty nice. Oh, shoot. A cavalry... For cavalry, they can't go very far. What should we do? Let's make the archers come to us. There we go. Flank attack. Nearly took her down. Yeah, Sparta has 65 hit points, so he's not... I'm being very gingerly with him, but I don't necessarily have to. Excellent. They only got two shots there instead of three. Oh, shoot. I thought they'd be able to... Shoot point blank, but of course that's stupid. That's okay. Our cavalry was able to do the job. 25 hit points. See what you got, Gaspard. And Tamara Isolangela, or whatever, is now down. Isan Jolana. Gaspard's fir his first official attack with his new army was a rousing success. Anya, let's finish off this guy. So Leonis is having a hero problem. He needs a hero. He's holding out for a hero till the end of the night. <laughs> Alright, we gotta take out these drones. First things first. Long swordsmen, they're pretty beat up. I don't know if we'll be able to take out both drones, actually, now that I think about it. Actually, I think we're a little too close. There we go. Nice. All right, one down. Swordsmasters definitely aren't going to take out a drone. Hmm. How far can it go in the next turn? It could definitely explode these guys. That's a problem. Can Frigoberto's slowdown spell work on it? Probably not. Nope. What about stoning? Alright, why not? Ah, oh, man. Just not quite enough. But maybe Anya can finish it off with her, one of her ranged weapons. Excellent. Let's get our Swordsmasters up here to guard her. And our Griffin will kind of hang out here. 
Let's get these guys back. Well, he took out a unit of monster hunters, unfortunately. Or were those the archers? Probably the archers. Oh, well. Swordsmaster, can we flank him? We can. And Anya, how would you like to gain another level? We should call her Anya Hero Killer. It's the third one that's gone down to her. Fourth! Fourth hero she's taken out. Right? Yeah, I was like, I think she took out all three in that last battle. And at the cost of only some archers, tier one. I'm not going to cry about it. Wow, is that the... That's the border from their... Their capital city there. Gaspard has proven he can take out some spiders. Oh, they left more goodies here. All right. If we raise the city, it will hurt our alignment. Oh, it'll make the humans less happy, too. Damn. That sucks. I mean, it's just it's just a horribly located city. I mean, we'll get 30 gold, which is okay, I guess. Colossal Arena. Cavalry units produced in this city have Sadistic Streak, and it prevents the construction of a Blood Altar. What does Sadistic Streak do? It doesn't say. What will we get down here? Possibly... Oh, another Well of Souls. So, some mana. Knowledge. Will we, be able, we might be able to get all the way down here. Monument of the Ancient God King, 20 production, but loses 100 people. Undead cities lose 100 undead. Prevents Pillar of the Stylites, requires Ancient Ruin Monument. What does it do, though? That's it? Just gives you production? At a cost of population? I don't know how useful that is, actually. But whatever, let's see. One, two, three, four. Alright, we'll absorb it. I unfortunately can't afford the negative human happiness right now. Serendium's going to have you stay put. What? No, no, no. Satura? No, no, no. Alright. Just stay. Good Satura. The city of Onyx Relig has a quest available. Alright, Stoicana has produced their Builder's Hall. We should actually keep an eye out of what's going on over here. Because Anya is in a precarious position. Camille and Leonis signed a peace treaty. Dwemus. Would you be interested in our offer? What's your offer? Peace treaty. Yes. The council wants us to have peace with everyone. Except for Leonis. And we are working together, so... I know you're evil. We're not going to ally with you, certainly. But a temporary peace is not a bad idea. So now Camille and Leonis are... They're not working together. And I'm, I'm sorry, Onyx Relig, but come on. How could I possibly do a quest for you when you're that far away. Alright, Stokana's doing well. Sarandi's going to stay where she is. And I guess we could build a road between the new city and our fort.
three Lost Mariners. You know, they could probably help in the fight against the Spiders. So we'll send them out. Again, people are worried about Lashanti, but Lashanti doesn't seem... Nobody seems to really have a strong naval presence. I mean, I could be eating my words, and all of a sudden, there could be a huge navy coming at us, but... All right, Satura. We're going to cavalry you up. We're also going to give you another Swordmaster. And then with one more unit of cavalry, you are a full force. And for some reason, this cavalry goes a lot faster than the other one. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought that was a green. So you're going to wait a turn. Narvex going to wait. And our scout is here now. Oof, more spiders. We're going to move Anya back to the city for right now. Guess Bard will embark. Alright, so decisions, decisions. If we form our city... What is this here? Alchemist's Guild, 10 knowledge. Plus 15 knowledge, but loses 10 mana. So if we form the city in such a way that it could 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We should be fine. Alright, maybe we'll start the city right. In fact, how far is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... This would be the best place right here to form the city, right where the mercenary camp is. But I guess we're going to have to go with this. One, two, three, four, five. That should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be fine too, really. All right. What should we name this city? It's going to have a production bonus. It's going to have... An Irregulars bonus. It'll have a Crystal Tree. I forget already what that does. Uh, Stoicana has one of those too. It'll have Knowledge. Oh, we're running out of gods. This doesn't seem like a very Aquarise type city. And I want Njord's city to be on the water. Because he is the god of commerce. Huh. And there's nothing really that makes this place for Necros, because there's no real undeady kind of stuff. I think Necros should have like the, a city near the Lich King castle. So, well, you know what? The council can can make suggestions. Right now, I'm just going to name it um, New City, because that's not its real name. We're just gonna we're just gonna say that we haven't quite figured out what we're gonna name it yet. And the council can decide. Well, the council can make suggestions, and I'll pick one that I think is really cool. And then we'll just name the city that. Alright, Preston Garvey and Frigoberto. Man, Frigoberto's terrible walking through the forest. That's where I should bring the builder. It's down here, build a road through there. Although I think it's over mountains, so the builder can't cross it. Yeah, I mean, technically, we have to give Frigoberto a break. He is crossing over a... Uh, a giant ice mountain with a dinosaur. Martial arts training has been re researched and Preston's Garvey's Big Beetle has hatched. Where are we? Where are we up there? Alright, any move from Leonis? None that I can see. Alright. Guess Bard. And Lost Mariners. Select Hexagon next to a friendly city. I guess Gildorf. And there he is. Ignatius the Charged. None the worse for wear. Conqueror. Units gain an additional 50% experience for killing enemy units. That's pretty good, actually, for, for only two turns. 
Conqueror's Feast. Enemy morale penalties are high. Warrior Culture. No happiness penalties. Eh. War Breeds. Definitely useful. That'll be five turns. This would really help to advance logistics. Regrowth. Heal at incredible speed, regaining 20% of their health each round of tactical combat. That's pretty awesome, too. Steadfast. Steadfast prevents the unit's health from dropping below one heart. All of these are really good. This will give us more mana capacity. And it's only two. Gosh, they're all good. Damn. Alright. You know, I said I wouldn't do this and only let the council choose things that are that are political, but since there's so many good choices here, and I'm perfectly happy with all of them. I think any of the two turn ones are a good choice. You know, but I'm also happy with War Breeds or Logistics. Global Sol I'm not happy with because it takes too long. Conqueror's Feast, the benefits don't really make it worth the cost. But I'll let the council decide of these potential skills we can research, which we should go with. There's options, you know. The two turn ones will be over quickly, which will give us access to a whole nother skill. But the uh, War Breed obviously will be useful for our battles. And it'll get us that much closer to Manticore Riders. So it's really up to the council. Take a look at what you've got here. Decide what you want. All right, new city. Let's go Builder's Hall, Storehouse, Gold Mall. All right, I think Keralt is saying doesn't need more than two monster hunters to guard it, so we're going to send the rest down to the front. Also, if we ever want to clear out this dungeon, we get an enchanted treasury, which would be really, really helpful. But it's legendary, so we're not quite ready for it, I don't think. Yep. Let's get over there to Ignatius. So it didn't take us long to get relatively back on the attack. I mean, Satora's already set, and she didn't take that long. Let's look at the berries. And then we'll head up to help Anya. Meanwhile, Ignatius is going to get a Swordsmaster himself. So he's already got a Cavalry and a Swordsmaster. And I guess we can recruit one shot Cavalry just to see what it's like. Okay, Leticia has their Mounted Archers. I wonder where... The entrance near Leonis is. What is all this? There's a lot of cool stuff over here. Oh, uh-oh. I missed this. There's a necromantic circle. I mean, we have a pretty good garrison in Leticia, but they can definitely cause us some trouble. And there's an entrance right there, which actually looks to be close to one of the dwarf's cities. There it is. And where would it go? Yeah, that's the one that Dwemus is using, actually, to get troops out here. Alright, well, we got a problem now with that Necromancer thing. Although, they probably don't even know we're here yet. But, they send pretty tough groups, and they can take out six guys, especially when two of them are Civic Guard. So, let's just hope they don't find out about us for a while. And Preston. So we could either have a giant boar, which gives him 40% blight protection, or a big beetle, which also gives him 40% blight protection, wall crushing, tunneling, and overwhelm. Well, I guess it's not much of a choice. Oh man, look at him. He looks so huge on that little beetle. <laughs> oh man, who gets the boar? Um... I guess Ignatius is the only one who doesn't have a mount at this point. Because, yeah, Ikara has the unicorn, which suits her far better than a giant boar. 
All right, archer, cavalry, infantry, and pikemen units gain the martial art ability. Units with martial art gain plus five defense against attacks of opportunity and retaliations. So that is not bad. Oh, and now with the new mount. Oh, right. No, let's see what we can hire here. Dwarf prospector, halfling adventurer, orc spearman, or orc goliath. Or Goliath, what are you, though? Are you dedicated to evil? It doesn't really say. So are you, I guess you're neutral? You're not... They're pretty awesome, actually. Awesome and expensive, though. 340 gold. And they're slow in plotting, which is probably not the best thing against Leona's. What does a halfling adventurer do? Well fed increases their health by 15. Forestry. They are an irregular monster slayer. Really, monster slayer? I think our monster slayers are a bit better, though. So I'm just going to stick with what we've got. What do they have? Can we, can we make it to the city in one? No, we can't. It's probably best we stay outside for the turn because if we go in, he'll be able to cast spells on us. I have no doubt that we can take the city with these two armies. Gotta keep an eye on Ikara. Well, she has 60 hit points. Frigoberto has 80, though. What does Preston have? 60. Alright, so he's not much better than Ikara. I'm a little annoyed the game didn't tell me that they could move. I guess they're just it's because of the research. Anya can as well. What new stuff do we have now? A shield of blocked whispers, mind control, immunity. I think she already gets that. Yeah, so we should get that someone else. I think Frigoberto is naturally resistant to mind control. Let's go to Gaspard. Or oh, you know what? Maybe Ikara. Well, it's too late now. Shortbow of the Thieving Axter. Razor projectiles. Uh, Narvac, I guess. I don't know. We might as well get Ikara a crossbow. She has the staff. That's actually stupid. Oh, well. Gaspard, I think, needs a ranged weapon. And who has an expensive army that the friendly beggar's shoes would be useful for? Preston could use it. Frigoberto already has shoes that give him move points, which are great. Kara's not leading an army. Satura? Yeah, I guess Satura has some expensive troops. She's been around for a long time. She deserves a little bit of love. Alright, Satura, we'll get you some new shoes. The chicken is going to go to Ignatius. As will his lightning wand. That's all he had? I'm not going to have him throw nets. Alright. We're good. Anya's really beefed up. Although, I don't like the vulnerable to spirit magic. Although, against a dreadnought, that's not going to do us too much trouble. And these are long episodes, man. Holy moly. Alright, Builder. Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that'll be the end of that. We're almost at 40 minutes. Good goodness. This one's going to take forever to process. But anyway, this is a council episode. So as a reminder, the council has two choices. One, what should we research? And uh, two, what should we name the new city that I'm currently calling New City? I mean, that's not really a vote. Just, just give suggestions, and I will pick the one that I think is the coolest. Also, just give your opinion so far on the war, how things are going. It looks like we'll be able to take the city without trouble, and then Leonis is stuck to his homeland, which is granted very strong. He has three major cities here. I'm sure he's got tons of troops. So, But we've done okay, although we haven't met any of his cannons or automatons yet, so that's something to be wary about. Once again, I'm Marcus Aurelius. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.